Hello lovelies! Welcome back to the channel! If you hear strange noises, I'm sorry, Sebastian chose exactly this moment to start whining, as he does. <laughs> Anywho, I'm here today with a very exciting video that I've been meaning to do for the longest time, but I like blocked it for some reason in my head, but I'm finally here and I'm very very excited for it. And that is my haul from Tommy Vowels, who makes the most incredible vegan gothic accessories, and I have been wearing them with basically every outfit that I've worn for the past few months. Which means, at least, I can give you a good review of some of things that have been thoroughly worn, so it's not too bad. So Tommy Bells is an entirely vegan brand, and Tommy's actually originally from London, but now he lives in Berlin, which is a shame because I'm in London all the time and I would be able to meet up with him and say hello but he lives in Berlin now, which I guess means I need to go to Berlin, which I've been wanting to do, so maybe that is something I should do soon. He ships worldwide, and he also actually has a storefront in Berlin, and you can visit that by appointment, which is super cool, which I want to do. Something that's really important to Tommy is inclusivity, and everything he makes is available in mid to measure sizing, so like, no matter what shape or size your body is, everything he makes can be tailored to fit you, which I think is great, because the amount of times that I will find really cute like little belts and stuff online but like they're coming from like a Chinese clothing company and they're just they're just too little for me <laughs> without like creating quite a situation happens all the time so to be able to get like really really gorgeous belts and harnesses and everything else that are made to like perfectly fit you is oh and he also makes sure that on his Instagram where his products are promoted and displayed to use a large range of different body sizes because one of his core values is that he believes all bodies deserve to be worshipped exactly as they are, which is lovely. So as I say, everything is made to measure sizing, which means whenever you're ordering, you do have to remember to put in your measurements so it can be made to fit you. I will be showing everything shortly, by the way. I'm just making sure to get all the important information out there because I think it's a lot of stuff that a lot of my viewers will really appreciate, such as the brand is also a queer owned slow fashion brand. I know there's a lot of talk about fast fashion at the minute, so if you're someone who prefers to support slow fashion, Tommy makes all of his items by hand himself. And he's also able to make custom pieces or make little changes to the pieces that already exist. I actually had some slight changes on some of the stuff I got, which I will talk about whenever I'm showing you everything and I can let you know like the little sort of tweaks I made. I would really actually love to have like a fully custom made piece at some point because like his stuff is just so gorgeous. Like I literally got all these pieces and immediately I was like, more, <laughs> I need more. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm very happy. And yeah, it was just super lovely like chatting away to Tommy. He was telling me like he grew up in the goth scene in London. He used to go to Slimelight all the time, which you guys know I go to all the time now. He feels his brand is continuing to connect him to the scene, but in a different way now that he's mostly retired from his partying, partying days. <laughs> So yeah, as I say, I've been wearing these pieces pretty much all of the time since I got them. I usually have at least one piece on, if not like three, and I just genuinely really love everything. So I am going to start showing you what everything looks like on. I think I'm going to change into maybe the dress I wore for these pictures, just because everything sat quite nicely with that, and we will go from there. I might also show them on the mannequin because it's like white so it might be easier to kind of like, I don't know, I'm gonna go grab everything, figure it out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you things on the mannequin first and then I will show you them on me after that. So first up we have this belt which I really love. It has these two o-rings in the front and then the double chains and it's just so cute. It's saying a bit funny because my mannequin is a little bit smaller than my own measurements but yeah, no, I love this. I've worn this so many times and I feel like it's just like, it's such a good piece that if you're wearing a really like basic, boring, just all black outfit, like very simple, like nothing interesting going on. If you slap this on, it just, I feel like it immediately makes it so much more fashionable looking. It just like immediately like elevates the outfit and I love it so much. So if I'm wearing something that just feels a little bit boring and I want to make it look cooler with like almost no effort, belt. And then a piece that I have that I think matches this belt perfectly is this piece, which I just, it adds so much to an outfit. Like it's a real statement piece. I love it so much. It connects around the back with a little chain, as you can see, and then you have it in the front here. And what's fun is if you don't want something quite as big, then you can actually just, and boop. And then it's a little more understated, but still cool. And again, it matches this belt. <laughs> so very well. So yeah, no, I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. I actually keep forgetting that this chain can come off, so I actually haven't worn it this way yet. And looking at it now, I'm like, ooh, 
new possibilities unlocked. I completely forgot that that was an option. So yeah, no, I just think this is super cool and they're such a good match with each other. Lovely. Another little neck piece that I have if you're looking for something a little more simple is just this lovely triple chain with the O-ring. It's just, again, like, it's quite a simple design, but at the same time, it just looks really cool, and I think it just adds so much. So I really love this, but I don't want something that's, like, hanging down on my chest too much. If I've got, like, something else that I'm wearing down here, or any other reason I want to keep that area clear, this is still just, like, a really cool way to add some chains and the O-ring detail. Absolutely love this. Next up is this belt, and this is probably the most simple piece I got. This originally actually came with, like, a ring on one side. But I actually wanted something a little more plain. I just love this big buckle. And I think what I kind of had in mind for this whenever I saw it was if I'm ever doing outfits that have like a vaguely sort of Victorian kind of vibe. Because I really haven't had a belt that I can put on outfits like that. And I have like a lot of dresses and stuff that I like that are in that kind of like Victorian inspired, Edwardian inspired realm. But I just felt like they needed a belt and I didn't have anything that really suited. And I just thought this would be perfect. So... I just wanted something nice and simple for that, and I think this really achieves that. Again, it's not sitting quite right on this mannequin because it's made to my measurements and not the mannequin's measurements. I really should get a mannequin that has my measurements, that would make these things much easier. But yeah, I just thought this was like really simple, elegant, and just like fit the job of what I needed perfectly. And Tommy was more than happy to take that ring off for me, which I was very pleased with. Next up is this belt, which I just think is so cool. It's this gorgeous, shiny PVC. It has the chains in the front here and then one drapey chain that comes down with the double O-rings on each side. And this is another piece that, again, I forget. I actually asked if this chain could be made detachable because it wasn't originally. And he was able to make it detachable for me. Keep forgetting that I can do that. And so if you just want something with a little less dangle, sorted. If you want a little more dangle, sorted. I love things that can switch and change like that. And I have worn this so, so much. I just think it is so, so cool. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces, especially if I want something like a bit more extreme. I think this is what I tend to go for. Anything with a lot of chain, anything with PVC. This just adds so much to the outfit. I love it. And last but certainly not least is this gorgeous harness. That's this kind of like faux, like crocodile or snake. I don't really know which some sort of faux reptile leather and it's just so cool. It's not sitting right at all on this mannequin so I'll show you it on me shortly. But yeah, this is so so nice. It has the big O-ring in the middle. I love like the straps going over the shoulders. It's just so so cool and the great thing about this is you can wear it as a harness like this or if you want to you can actually remove these straps and then just have it as a belt which I'll show you on me because it's not sitting on this right. But yeah, you can actually take the straps off entirely and then just have a really simple, nice little O-ring belt. I love things that can be worn a bunch of different ways. You're getting like multiple items for the price of one. Love it. Okay, so here is how that belt looks on. Side note, everyone always asks where this dress is from. It's an old All Saints dress, so do with that what you will. But yeah, it just looks so cool. It just immediately like, and there is the back. There's space for this to be tighter or looser. I've kind of just got it. I'd like a reasonably comfortable tightness right now. I don't want to like have it like really digging in or anything, so. I've just put it to where it will sit like that, and yeah, very cute. Here is that necklace. Look how cool it is. I love it so much. And it's very comfortable, even though, like, you know, it's heavy from the chains and stuff, it's not uncomfortable in the slightest. Like, I can wear these all night and not be bothered at all, which is nice, because sometimes I do get, like, sensory issues with, like, a lot of accessories. I'm like, get everything off me now. But these haven't bothered me, so I'm very happy about that. And I'll quickly show you it here without the chains on. And that's what it looks like plain, which I'm going to be doing soon because I can't believe I've not worn it out like this yet. Absolutely beautiful. Here is the little just triple chain and O-ring one. See what I mean? It just sits so nicely, like right there. I think it's perfect. It's so cute. Such a nice balance of styles. I just really, really love this and I can wear it with like most outfits. Next up we have this belt and this is what I mean. I feel like it's just for something so simple, it still just adds just enough interest into the middle of the outfit to like break up the boringness and I just think it's so pretty. The back of this is just plain since it buckles in the front and yeah just super super nice. This is the one that I took the ring off of, well asked to have the ring removed from 
and yeah, just super cute. Here we have this piece. I thought this was gonna look really weird with this dress, but it's actually still kind of cool. It's not two pieces I think I would usually put together, but actually it kind of still looks pretty awesome. And yeah, I just, I love this piece for like any outfit where I'm going like really heavy on the chains or I wanna add a bit, like, you know, if I have like PVC shoes, I'll add this to add another bit of PVC. Here is it from the back. And I just think it's so cool. Beautiful. Almost forgot to show it without the chain bit. And that's it without. And then finally we have the harness. And another nice thing about this is because the straps are detachable, you can kind of move them around as well to sit wherever you think looks nicer. So I can move them right round to the side or I can bring them more up to the front like that. It just kind of depends what you think looks nice. So it's nice to be able to have that freedom. That's more like it, hopefully. I can't really see my back, but I think that's how it's supposed to sit. Here's a better look at the shoulder details and I'm pairing it with the necklace from earlier. And I will quickly pop off these straps so you can see it as just a belt. And on it goes. And now I just have a simple little thin belt with that lovely like reptile sort of texture and the O-ring in the front. The size is adjustable at the back here. And suddenly I have a whole new piece, which I think is super cool. Oh, it is toasty in here and this dress is deceptively warm, it's very thick. I would like to mention that I am not being paid for this video, I'm not being paid to give you any information, but I was sent these items by Tommy to give an honest review and that's what I'm giving you. I genuinely love everything. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this, so yeah. So there we go, that is my little gothic accessories haul. I am obsessed with everything. I need more immediately. I really want more things with like the reptile print. I really want some red things. I want so many, I could have endless pieces and still need more. I am off to London in a couple of days. I'll definitely be taking this stuff with me to style some more outfits as if I haven't done enough looks already. I need more. If you're seeing this video within two weeks of it being uploaded, I actually have a 10% off code for you. It'll be down in the description. It is Toxic Tears, all one word, capital letters, or you can just check the description, copy and paste. And yeah, so for the next two weeks from the date of this video going up, that'll get you 10% off. And of course, the link to the website and the Instagram are also down below. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought of the pieces. Let me know if you have anything, or if you're gonna get anything, let me know what's caught your eye so that I can also be obsessed. Before you go, if you could check out my Patreon, I would love you so, so so much is the biggest support to this channel. I might have some pretty big life changes coming up early next year, so I definitely need to be hustling. So any extra support on Patreon is so very appreciated. I think that's everything for now. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night and I'll see you in the next video. Bye lovelies!